Hi, my name is Ben Borsian. I'm on the Spectra Watermakers technical support team. Um, right here we're at the test bench of the factory and we've got a Ventura 200T on NPC on the test bench. Um, one of the last ones before the Connect. We're all over to the Connect version. Um, I'm going to go over how to diagnose a pre-filter alarm and you can use this on any system um, but it's pretty much getting into the programming so you can see what the sensors are reading. On the Ventura our two pressure sensors are right here on top of the filter housings and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that um, they seem appropriate. To look at what the sensors are seeing in real time what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to run this, flip the system into run manual. You do that by clicking the run manual switch. Once your system is running in run manual, the screen does not know anything that's going on, so you're going to have to turn it off with run manual, but we will be able to get into the programming and see exactly what the sensors are reading. To get in the programming, you have to be at the Spectra Watermakers screen. This is the chip number, which can help identify your unit, but it'll say Spectra Watermakers A40 for newer ones, and it goes all the way back to A36. You're going to have to press and hold the bottom two buttons at the same time. And now we're into the programming settings. You hit the alarm display to go from setting to setting. You can always, anything you think is happening with your programming, you want to check these per your manual and make sure all the settings are set correctly. It's one of the first things I do when I'm looking into issues. And then for the pressure, for the pressure sensors, you want to get the inlet offset setting. So this is the first sensor, the, uh, I believe it was with the green band. So it's set at night. This is the real time reading. So it's reading 94 psi at that first sensor. The second sensor is reading 90 psi, 93. So we have new filters at our test bench. So these are reasonable parameters, and our service pre filter light is not going off. So this seems reasonable to me. Um, if you have any questions on what might be reasonable for your system, feel free to ask an authorized dealer or call into the factory, and we'll be able to help you out.